In this video, we are going to see how you can create a cut contour in Adobe Illustrator and then use it in Caldera Rib. This tutorial is divided into three sections, which are completely independent. This first section describes how to create a cut contour in Adobe Illustrator. For this example, a vector illustration has been chosen. Launch Adobe Illustrator. Select the whole image and copy it. Then, click Paste in Place. Select the Unite Shape mode. After that, you can open the new swatch window. The Cut Contour name is preferred, otherwise it will not be automatically detected as a contour. The colour used must be set as a CMYK spot colour with a value. Also, Caldera advises you to use the following settings. In the Attribute window, enable Overprint Stroke. In the Stroke window, set the weight to 0.1 to avoid double cuts and align the stroke to center. Click on File, then Save As and save the file as an EPS or PDF. PDF format is preferred. On the next screen, select a PDF X1 standard. Move your file to your Caldera RIP computer or save it in your shared directory. In this section, you'll learn how to load files with embedded contours. When loading a PS, EPS or PDF file, FileMan automatically loads all of its vector paths during the preview process. FileMan displays, before the import, the embedded spot colors and vector files. Each contour is linked to a spot color and has a particular name that is recognized by FileMan. Be careful, do not check the box placed in front of your contours. They will be included in the image and you won't be able to use them for cutting anymore. By default, only contours beginning with Cut Contour are recognized as contours, but other names can be set up to be recognized as well. Configure FileMan to recognize other contour names. In FileMan's main window, click on the Setup button to open the Setup window. Then click on the Edit Cut Contour List button. The Cut Contour List appears. There, use the button on the side to manage your contour list. New. This button adds a contour to the list. Edit. This button changes the contour name. Delete. This button removes a contour from the list. If you type a name followed by a star, every contour which begins with this name will be recognized by FileMan. This last section describes how to check contours contained in a file. You can check at any time if one of your images from your image bar contains cut files. If your image is marked with a cutter, it means that a cut contour has been recognized by FileMan during the import process. Open the Info module using one of these four methods. Double-click on the Info icon on the application bar, then drag and drop the image in it. Or, drag and drop the image in the application bar Info icon or select the image, then make a right click and click on the About image, or select the image, then use the shortcut Alt-A. Then select the Contours tab. There, you can see the list of the contours included in your image. If no line is written, no contour is linked to the image. If you need any help with our software, be sure to visit our Caldera Desk Knowledge Center.